I want to I want to start off by saying it's very rare these days for a person to meet someone they consider their soulmate. Someone for whom they're made and meant to be with for life. Someone with whom they're so connected that they couldn't imagine their life without that person in it. Only once in a blue moon does something so magical and special happen. And it's such a beautiful thing. I can honestly say this is exactly what happened when Suzanne and I met for the first time <laughs> 20 years ago in Ms. Siler's third grade class. It was on that first day of third grade that fate sat Suzanne and I right next to each other. Since that day, back in 1994, we've created countless memories together, from playing house with Suzanne's little brother, Max. Hey, Max. I used to carry him around in my arms as my baby. <laughs> to school field trips, to millions of tennis lessons, and millions of sleepovers, in Suzanne's twin bed, <laughs> to hundreds of rides in the Stern family Honda, blasting who knows what obnoxious song, hey. to reality TV marathons, <laughs> to many, many shopping trips, to sneaking out of Suzanne's parents' house in the wee hours of the night. Sorry, Trisha and Jonathan, <laughs> it happened. <laughs> right. To officially being roommates after college, I could go on and on, <clears throat> and in all honesty, I have very few memories that don't involve Suzanne. Our friendship is simple, it's easy, and it always have, has been. I don't know how to say it. We just understand each other. <laughs> we have the same weirdo sense of humor, we could gab about close to anything for hours, and most importantly, we share a love for fabulous, expensive things. So Frank, take, take note, <laughs> though I hope you're well aware. <laughs> Suzanne is also one of the smartest, most self-sufficient people I know, and for that, I will always love and admire her. It's this strong head on her shoulders that led her to Frank. Frank, I know you treat Suzanne like gold, and you two always, always put each other first, making time for one another, which is so valuable. I can truly say that I've never seen Suzanne as happy, content, or as ease, at ease the way she is with you. And I knew when Frank's cat, Turbo, moved out of his apartment and with his parents, <laughs> that this was the real deal. <laughs> Suze, I went over this speech what feels like a hundred times, trying to think of ways to say how much I love you, and how hashtag blessed I am to have you in my life. <laughs> but it's impossible to put, those, put that into accurate words. And that's truly how I feel. I don't know where I'd be without you. To you and Frank, I'm so excited to see you two create countless memories of your own. They may not involve as many shopping sprees or reality TV marathons, but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, I have no doubt it's nothing but good things that, to come in your life. So everyone, please raise your glass and congratulate it. Oh. Mr. Hey. and Mrs. Olsen. Yeah. I love you dearly. <laughs> <laughs>